The product time schedule is a contractual document between the client and the contractor, which defines the forecast sequence, progress of the work, and the contractual start, finish, and milestone dates. How to read and understand Primavera time schedule? Primavera time schedule layout usually contains two main sections, bar chart and activity list. To understand the time schedule, you should first read the colors. This is a layout of a time schedule. To read the time schedule fast and accurate, just read the color first. Each color in the Primavera has different indication in the activity list area. This is the activity list area. We have here color. I uh, name each color. I put a number for each color and I'll explain to you what is this number mean. The activity list area. The colors in the activity list area represent the work breakdown structure, WPS of the project. It means the first color, which is, uh, I name it one, is the first WPS. Number two, second WPS. Number three, third WPS, and so on. This WPS work breakdown structure, it is a hierarchy color coding. Identify different levels. Each Primavera time schedule has its own WPS. And I will explain the time schedule car coding to give you an idea how it works. Item number one. Item number one represents the root level, which summarizes the whole Primavera time schedule and cannot be repeated. For example, if you want to know the Primavera time schedule over all duration, you should go here to root number one, level number one, and go to the duration column here and read the duration. This will give you a summary for all the levels above, i.e. for our example, level number one will give you summary for level number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Item number two, this one, represent a secondary level of the time schedule and can be repeated and it summarizes whatever underneath until you reach another level 2 for example here we have the level 2 here this summarizes from level 2 here until we find another level 2 so this this column summarized between two of uh, two uh, of the same color In our sample, level 2 represent project milestones, shop drawing, submittal, testing, and commission. So here we have three level 2, this one, two, three of the, of the same level. Each level summarizes this area, and this is level summarizes this area, and this level summarizes the area below. Item number three, four, five, and six are, are representing further levels, and each level, which is color, summarize down, summarize down direction until you reach the same level, the same color again. So between two red colors or two blue colors, as you can see here. Of course, we'll, we'll know this one in details when we go to Promovera and we'll see how to create this color coding and WBS and so on. So just I'm giving you a very quick idea about how it looks like the Promovera layout. Here, the, the uh, uh, item number seven represents the lowest level in the work breakdown structure, which is the activity level. We'll talk now about the bar chart area. We have colors in the bar chart area. This is bar chart area. We have the blue color, which I name it A. This is actual work done. It is the history. B, 
remaining war. This is green one, the future. C, baseline schedule, contract or revised schedule, which is a black one. D, which is red, the critical path. Any delay in this activity will delay the project completion. So you can simply, from the first look, you can see what is the schedule, if it is ahead or behind from this indication. Of course, we'll talk about everything in this in details when, when we come to the levels. Second thing, read the data. B, read the data. We have here item one, the activity ID. Activity ID is a, a numbering system identifying each activity. Number two, activity name. The description of the activity. Number three, original duration. The period of time required to execute the activity or a summary of the duration required to execute a group of activity under certain level. Number four, duration percentage com uh, complete. This is activity percentage completed from the time point of view. Well, and this percentage complete indicates the forecast completion date, which is in item number eight. This is a forecast completion date. As I mentioned before, this is only a quick uh, view of the uh, Promovera layout, and we will know in details uh, what uh, what is the Promovera look like when we come to this point. Okay, five BL project start. BL is a shortcut of baseline, which represents the planned start as bare baseline schedule, and these value are fixed. Column 6, actual slash forecast start. This is recording of the project history. When each activity actually started or forecasting when this activity will start. To know whether the data, the date in this column is actual or forecast, look for the letter A. If you found below a letter A, it means actual. If you don't find a letter A, it means it is a forecast date. Number seven, BL project finish. BL, again, is a shortcut for baseline, which represents the plan finish as bears the baseline schedule, and these values are fixed as well. Number eight, actual forecast finish. This is a recording of the project history when each activity actually finished or forecast when this activity will finish. So if we found a letter A beside this date, it means actual. If we didn't find the letter A, it means forecast. Column number nine, variance BL project finish. This indicates the variance between the project planned project finish, which is item number seven, and actual forecast finish item number eight. And this highlight whatever, whether the schedule is ahead or behind the baseline and how many days.